Hey everyone, it is me, TNTN, and I am back with another episode on a new server, not even like the Taz Craft server, this is like Rose Craft server, I think? Uh, it's by Desert Rose, and it's basically the new Mindfighter until Mindfighter Season 2 comes out. A lot of people from the Mindfighter server are on this one, and right now I'm running through a forest trying to look at for an old cave that I was in until I got teleported because this game has a lot of plugins and commands and weird things and I'll share those in a little bit. So yeah, just wish me luck as we get into this episode. Welp, I did not find it. I'm super far away from spawn. Uh, so let's show off that feature really fast after I killed this zombie. Uh, and let's explain exactly what's happened because I have not recorded at all on the server and I honestly did not think I would. But anyway, this server has a lot of plugins. If you do slash back, it'll take you to the last location basically that you were before you did slash back, I think. Something like that. Uh, so this is where we were. Um, this is spawn, if you guys do not know. You can also do if we do slash back again. Now we're here. And then you can do slash home. And that will bring you to wherever you set your home. This I set it to the spawn because where else would I set it? And then pretty sure you can do slash back again. And we're back here. So yeah, there's a lot of TPing around and whatnot. And honestly, at first I didn't really like this, but it's kind of useful actually because a lot of people are at spawn. They're like, hey, go check this out. And I'm like, but I'm so far away. And then I can just do like slash back and slash back and it's really, really easy. So I actually kind of like it. Now what has happened so far is basically I went into a cave and I was, well actually I was just mining. I was trying to get some resources and I got quite a few. You'll see that we have nice iron armor, a little bit of iron, one diamond, thorns three, we'll get to that in a second. Uh, some coal, some redstone, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and obviously some tools. And it was going really great, and then, oh dang, I thought I was going to hit that. <laughs> and then I, um, anyway, I basically found a cave, and I found a skeleton spawner, I found a cave spider spawner, I found a bigger bean, it was amazing. And now I cannot find where that was, because I accidentally did slash back, and I got stuck. And Desert Rose had to teleport me out, basically. And then I got rid of my slash back, basically, and I couldn't go back to my cave, which sucked, so not fun. <laughs> now, quick tour of spawn. Basically, we have some nice animals over here. That's really good. Uh, we have a little horse stall over here. I don't know whose this is. Huh. Uh, and then it's obviously in a village, as you guys can tell. It's been remodeled a little bit by everyone in the server. There's a lot of crops growing, some of the houses have been remodeled, some have just changed the doors. Uh, and then shops are also sprouting about uh, spawn, which is awesome. We have um, the saddle shop, we have the potion shop, and then we also have the fishing shop. And I'm pretty sure I can get a mending book out of here. Okay, a silk touch. That's also really good. Um, yeah, we might be coming back here. Uh, and then I'm pretty sure there might be one more by other people because all those were just... De uh, Desert Rose. Ah, yeah, Sabrina. This is just material shop, so that's awesome. There's also this on top of this very large hill. That's that's the uh, spawn over there. And I just found it really cool. It's my first time being up here. I just wanted to check it out. Ooh. Looks really cool. I'm guessing this is built by Sabrina. This kind of seems like her, ex um, her expertise, but I'm not positive about that. This, yeah, this, this does kind of look like it, though. Uh, cool. Well, it does not appear I'm the first to go travel up off in these directions because it looks like we just found a cactus farm and the big tunnel question mark. Oh, sheep, horse. Wow, wow they, I, these people seem to know what they're doing. Don't know whose base it is though at all. And there's also a lot of people from not from the uh, Mindfighter server, so uh, I might be someone that I just don't. Oh, oh, <laughs> it's Desserts Rose's place. Okay not realize that <laughs> there's also a witch right there um i'm gonna uh, should i should i do the witch hut i want to but also i'm just starting out <laughs> uh 
Uh, let's give it a try, because why not? Okay, here we go, here we go. All right, just starting out going against a witch. <laughs> okay, she poisoned me, that's fine. We're actually doing pretty good. Wow, how much health do they have? Oh, there we go, okay. That was actually really easy once you get them up against the corner, so go us. <laughs> well, I found a village and a tree on fire. That's a fun mix, plus this lava coming down, so this seems like a great place. <laughs> Didn't even see the big cave that the lava goes down to, so that's fun. Let's see what they have inside their chest. Anything good? Mm, just some iron chest plates. Uh, horse armor, is it worth it? Maybe. So I actually took the opportunity of finding this village because it has nice fruit and farm, not fruit, vegetables and food uh, and whatnot. And I decided to make it our base. But if you look around, I, there's nothing that really looks like a base. And that's because it's a hidden base. Now you guys are probably going to laugh at me because it's a very, fairly, poorly, like, <laughs> put uh, hidden base but if we head over here to the well no one would suspect a well would they if we go right down here we can go into one this one block uh, swim into this one block um, uh, up height <laughs> and then my very first redstone on the server which sucks and I'll show it to you guys in just a second but if we press this button and go over here and we can swim right back out and also the water will be drained behind us once we get through and I just thought that was kind of cool. Uh, I don't want to show this to you guys, but if we come on top, you'll see. Oh, we actually have to go up a little bit. You'll see that we have just um, redstone dust going. And then this observer is basically seeing that uh, that change, that redstone dust is now on. Taking that and it's basically making a one tick pulse that goes right into this block, which goes into this dispenser, pouring out the water. And then four ticks later, Oh wait, no, sorry, just one tick later, a few ticks later, I think it's like 10 actually, uh, the redstone gets unpowered, which uh, this detects a change, which does one tick uh, pulse into this repeater, going into this dispenser again, which dispense, uh, which takes in the water. So that's how that works. Just, I don't know why I don't like it, it just doesn't feel like, you know, super like cool, like... <laughs> But it does work like really, really well. And then in here, all we do have is a chest with a lot of wood and some armor, a uh, horse armor, a diamond, and thorns three. We have a, ch uh, a, a little crafting table and we have a furnace. And we might go mining. I think I'm going to do like a 15 mi minute mining session because I do not have much longer on the server, sadly, because actually took a while to get like the observer materials and like the spencer materials and whatnot i was getting like a tour tour of someone's base it was a lot of time but uh i'm gonna go for a quick mining session and we'll see what happens so in this time lapse chat i just wanted to say thank you to everyone who has helped me out during the past 10 months i think i've been on youtube now it's been really really awesome and i really really appreciate it i have like 73 subscribers which i find insane not like really a, that big of a number compared to most YouTubers out there, but for me, it's absolutely crazy that 73 people want to watch my videos. So I just want to say thank you to everyone who has liked, uh, subscribed, watched my videos. It really does mean a lot to me. Um, I do want to make this a job later on if I can. I do want to do other things with my life, but for the most part, uh, I think that being a Minecraft YouTuber would be really, really fun and cool. And I just want to say thank you again to everyone who has subscribed in the past. And it's just really awesome, and I'm just repeating myself. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I hate time lapse chats. Well, okay, guys, we got not much done. As he probably saw, m almost all of it was just caving. We barely just got down here. Uh, but we found, uh, now the question, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, so we did find a spider spawner, which is fun. We might be messing with that in the near future. But that's basically all we got. We got some redstone. We got a lot of stone. Uh, oh, we actually did get a whole tons of iron, which is really good. And we got one emerald, but we did get no diamonds or anything like that, which is kind of sad, but it's okay. Uh, sadly, that's all I have time for today, though. I might do a little bit mining in my free time. Uh, see how busy I am. Uh, and then 
uh, hope that you guys just enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button. And if you guys really enjoyed it and want to see more of this series, then make sure to hit that uh, subscribe button and hit that notification bell to be notified every single time I come out with a new video. Uh, but I'll see you guys later. Bye!